Hey to Zed, Domain to Genus here, and welcome back to another 11 Enlightenments. On this week's episode, Jackals. Jackals are canids native to Asia and Africa. There has been confusion between which canids are jackals and which aren't. However, there are only three canids that are commonly known as jackals. Those being the black-backed, side-striped, and golden jackals. The correct placement of jackals within taxonomy has been debated for centuries. In 1815, the German naturalist Lorenz Oken proposed placing the jackal into its own unique genus of Thos, derived from the classical Greek for jackal. This genus was mostly ignored over time, and it has not been until modern times that the genus of the black-backed and side-striped jackals was suggested for alteration again, this time to Lupulella. This separation of two jackals from the third by genus is supported by the fact that black-backed jackals and side-striped jackals are the most basal species of the canid clade. This indicates an African origin to modern dogs, wolves, and jackals. The golden jackal separated from the direct lineage of dogs some 1.9 million years ago. However, the other two species did so between 4.5 and two million years ago. Another confusion in defining where jackals lie taxonomically is the golden wolf. Hailing from Africa, this wolf was once assumed to be the same as the golden jackal. The separation of these two species was speculated throughout the early 2000s, but a study in 2015 finally revealed that golden jackals had a genetic divergence which occurred somewhere between 1.7 and 1.3 million years ago from the Golden Wolf. The Golden Wolf was renamed to Canis Anthus from the Golden Jackals, Canis Aureus. Of the two more basal African jackals, the side-striped jackal is larger and is the less carnivorous of the two. In rural areas, the diet of a side-striped jackal may be up to 30% fruit-based, a broader diet is probably required to reach their size, given they tend to be solitary. Yet, this size does not aid them against the smaller black-backed jackals, who have been known to drive side-striped jackals from their territory. The black-backed jackal is also omnivorous, but feeds on a greater proportion of meat. Generally, gazelles are the upper limit for this species' size. However, they have been known to pick on larger, notably ill targets, such as a crippled bull rhino, but black-back jackals will often eat invertebrates such as scorpions, and have even been known to eat a black mamba, Africa's longest venomous snake. Despite this astounding array of possible prey, the black-backed jackal also has many competitors, and being the smallest jackal species, the black-backed jackal is a social animal, which communicates with a variety of calls. To announce their presence, they howl. However, black-backed jackals, which live in the same land as golden wolves, will instead yelp, a response usually reserved for encounters with larger animals, like leopards. Jackals have also been depicted as having an estranged relationship with larger predators in popular culture too. In Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, an Indian, golden, jackal named Tabaki is the only friend to Shere Khan, the villainous tiger, as well as his spy. The CNA Wolfpack, which raises the protagonist Mowgli, is therefore at odds with Tabaki, who feeds on their and Shere Khan's leftover food, which is representative of Golden Jackal's opportunistic nature. In addition to this, the relationship between jackals and man has over time shifted back and forth. Much like foxes, jackals are seen as sly and astute, being cited as outsmarting lions, and have been the representative of many gods throughout time. The most famous of these gods may be Anubis, a Greek name for the ancient Egyptian god, who was responsible for guiding spirits to the afterlife, and, in one story, for branding the leopard with its spots. However, after the discovery of the golden wolf speciation, it is probable that the animal which shares a head with Anubis is not a jackal. Foxes were also mistaken for jackals within the Bible, 
where they have, over different variations, received rough treatment. In one telling, jackals were not initially allowed onto Noah's Ark by Noah, as he believed them unworthy of saving, and in another, the Nazarite Samson tied torches to the tails of 300 jackals, which were then let loose upon the fields of the Philistines. Golden jackals are far more common in Israel than foxes are, and so it is supposed that the stories have been mistranslated when read as fox. Israel's golden jackals also show hybridization between themselves and the golden wolves of Africa, being a somewhat transitional space between the two species. Jackals may also be interbred with domestic dogs. One example is the Solomov dog, a Russian sniffer dog, which was initially bred from golden jackals and Laponian herders. Jackals themselves may also be domesticated though, with evidence of, again golden, jackals being domesticated in Turkey and the Levant regions, which dates back around 11,000 years. And with that, this has been 11 Enlightenments. See you next time.